Hi everyone, Hibber here, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about feeling stuck, feeling in a rut, and feeling a little bit hopeless and helpless in the direction you're heading to in your life. I'm in my mid thirties and I find that a lot of people on YouTube and on this channel and on different platforms give a lot of life advice about manifestation, about living your best life, about how they've been able to achieve and manifest things at such an early point in their life. And I want to talk to you about that feeling of you can't achieve that and you're not seeing progression and you feel like you're behind and you feel like people younger than you or people just are just doing better than you in general. And I find that just in general, life is cyclical. Life has its highs, its lows, its peaks, its troughs. We ultimately have to be a bit more realistic about the direction we're headed in and our goals. Look guys, look how cute my little kitten is. I've been disturbing her play, so I'm gonna let her go play. Since the age of like nine, I have been running my own businesses and kind of, different I guess, it's different to how my peers were. I didn't see anyone else running companies since the age of nine. And I just noticed so many interesting opportunities opening up in my life from making dresses for people when I was 14 years old. And I actually, when I was nine years old, without telling my mum, I used to buy multi-packs of felt tip pens or get my felt tip pens that were, or I already had. And there were these really cool stamp ones where you'd have like, it's like a felt tip marker, but it would have a heart shaped stamp at the end or an animal or something. And I would buy them in bulk, um, like a multi-pack and sell them singularly for one pound each. And the whole box of like 20 or whatever was like two pounds. So I was making quite a big profit and I would use that money to buy toys <laughs> basically and sweets. And um, I set up competitions at school when I was about 10 or 11 and I would draw an outline of a bunny rabbit and get people to color it in and then I would get this old junk and random stuff that my mom had this kind of unwanted gift box you know like when people get you gifts and you don't like them and you're like what do I do with this my mom had a whole box of random tat and junk and so I gave so that's what I gave as prizes and actually I don't know if I've talked about this in a previous video but I got robbed by people so I had like a whole tin of my money because I charged 20p per entry and I think loads of people entered because I remember having quite a big tin of money and these like bullies at school, they stole my money. So, but interestingly it didn't stop my entrepreneurship journey and I feel like that's really telling, really telling a lot in your life of how people could steal from you, things can fail, Things can be such a silly idea when you think about it at the time, but then when you look back on it in hindsight, it's filled with strength and perseverance and trial and error, and it's actually really impressive. So going further in my path in life, I ended up running my own fashion company. I ended up going to fashion school and working for some of the biggest companies in the world. I used to work in wholesale in Moschino, the, the fashion house. And I designed for accessorize at the age of 19 or 20, you know, monsoon accessorize. And I would design stickers and really cute hats for kids and they would be sold in the shops. So I did some really impressive things, but really when I think about it, when I really think of the formula of all the things that I achieved and kind of going along the path of how, I've done a previous video talking about how manifestation is pretentious and it got quite a lot of views compared to what I've been getting recently because to be honest, my views have dipped and it is really deflating and demotivating. And so I'm also in that process of accepting my demotivation right now, I guess. So I did this video of manifestation is pretentious because I managed to manifest, quotation marks, so many really, really cool things in my teens and my twenties that looking back on it was literally just, I was like a really super proactive person. And I think I was quite a rebellious person. I think it was through my rebelliousness that created those opportunities. I was like, I don't wanna do what my parents tell me to do, I'm gonna hide and go on the street corner and sell things 
without them knowing. I'm gonna do competitions without the teachers knowing because I would get in trouble by the teachers for like taking money off students. And I think everything I really did was stemming from rebellion and me just wanting to do something different. And so I had so many cool things happen. And the same with dating. I found that I dated a lot of people who had a lot of money, men who would buy me gifts like weekly. And this was all like my late teens and my early twenties early 20s to mid 20s, bearing in mind I'm in my mid 30s now. And I think the reason why I manifested wealthy men, gifts, really cool job opportunities, I ended up being a celebrity stylist, flying on private jets, all that kind of stuff, was just the fact that I was rebellious and I kept leaving the house and I kept randomly talking to strangers and meeting people and a lot of it got me into actually quite dangerous situations so the good side of it is wow i got these really really unique and cool opportunities which at the time by the way i completely normalized and now looking back on it maybe that's not so normal that you get fly on private jets and you become a celebrity stylist because you go to a party and someone offers you a job and that i become at the age of 21 I'm working in the head office at Moschino and they ended up being short on models and then they got me to model so I ended up modeling for Moschino in the wholesale showroom not on the catwalk but I got all these really unusual interesting opportunities based on just what I threw myself into all right so I just talked to you about a lot of the cool things that I've experienced in my life now let's talk about the dark side so all the gifts that I got from my ex-boyfriends, the flowers, my ex used to pick me up in his like convertible car and have a hu like a, a human sized teddy bear at the back of the car with bouquets of flowers. I had an ex-boyfriend, an ex, not even my boyfriend, my ex turn up with a diamond necklace he got me from Harrods in London and etc etc. The issue with all of this, and this is a serious thing and I really feel like it's true, is Something my therapist told me the other day, she was like, the person, often the person that gives you the biggest bouquet is the one that has the potential for being the most abusive. And what this means is when someone's so willing to do all these grandiose things for you, sometimes that's not genuine and authentic. Sometimes that's done for a reason. It's to make a statement, to make a point. And she was saying about, I don't know, patients, I'm not gonna talk about the patients that she has. But anyway, basically she was talking about examples to kind of back this up and I thought about it and I was like the most unhappy I have ever been in my life was when I was dating these guys that were buying me all these gifts. Reason being is when you on when you remove the veil of that they're controlling they switch attention and love for materialism and control rather than attention and love. It's it's a control, it's not love and then when I think about yeah that was really cool that I was a celebrity stylist etc etc but I was in an environment where I was a hundred percent judged on how popular I am how pretty I am how rich I am how cool I am how likable I am and I found that I was always drowning in that in that world. I found that my friends were getting really cool opportunities. One was a TV presenter, one is one of the biggest YouTubers, one was an actor. Um, the men generally got more respect, the white people generally got more respect. I always found that I was at the bottom of the, the group. Even though they were my friends and they're still my friends to this day, I still, this, to this day, feel like, in spite of them being my friends, I'm the least favoritized. I mean, they, they probably would disagree with that, but I do feel like, I don't know, just the way that I see people's interactions with each other and stuff, I've always felt like I've been a bit of an underdog. And so moving on from all of these achievements, and then I ended up from 25 to 32 running my own companies, and now I've moved to another country and I'm focusing more on my YouTube. My companies did really well. I had I had a fashion brand and then I moved on to a monthly subscription box company which really boomed during the pandemic and I was running these companies and making lots of money but I was spending lots of money and my heart and soul and time and everything went into the businesses to the point where 
my relationships with my boyfriends were affected and I wasn't progressing on a social level at all. I was very isolated. So everything has its sacrifice. And I think ultimately what a lot of these YouTubers in their 20s don't tell you is that yes, they could be having the boyfriend right now. They could be getting the gifts. They could be getting the YouTube views. They could be getting all of the things that you feel like might be what you want. Even if it's like completely aside from the industries I've been in, maybe it's oh, this person's a lawyer or whatever it is. Not only have they sacrificed something in order to get there, but all that glitters is not gold, right? So for me, I shut down my businesses. I stopped dating the types of guys that were buying me gifts. I stopped, hang I stopped being a celebrity stylist. I didn't follow down the path of fashion. And you'd think all of this cool sounding stuff why wouldn't I ride the wave of my success in my 20s? Because I started realizing that I was really becoming so reliant on materialism and so reliant on achievement and so reliant on being better than other people or proving to people that I'm worthy of their respect and that I'm not an underdog. And then I crashed and I burned and then I started just being in nature, hanging out with animals, not doing my makeup, selling my designer things, turning vegan. And then I went to the other extreme. So like I said, life is cyclical, it has its ups and its downs. The good thing about me shedding all of the materialism and all of those past achievements away, shedding it, is it forced me to face myself, do some shadow work. I can talk about shadow work in another video, really delve deep into who I am and without the distractions of materialism, entrepreneurship, whatever it is. And that's kind of where I'm at now. I mean, now I'm so proactive. I'm in another country and in my mid thirties, I have been signed by modeling agencies in the country that I'm in. So I'm pursuing com predominantly commercial modeling. I model like dresses and things. I'll show you guys some photos and videos in like a link somewhere, not a link, like a I'll show you guys some photos and videos basically. And I'm teaching art workshops and I'm about to, my business was called Trinket Treasures and I found it was a little bit childish, but I'm still gonna keep that name because I built a following for so many years and I, I've just made the decision I'm gonna keep it. And what's wrong with being a bit childish and young in your thirties, that's fine. As you can see, I have some art over here and a lot of that was from my Trinket Treasures business. It's to do with self care, self love, having a bit of fun in life, being light and flowing with life. And I want to basically transfer that into an online, an online forum. So where you can download pretty aesthetic to-do lists, kind of the aesthetics you can see here, and calendars and workbooks. And I just can't wait to start this new path of entrepreneurship separate to what I've done before and I really wanna bring you guys on the journey with that. And so I guess the point that I'm getting at with this video is when you feel like you haven't achieved stuff and when you feel like people in their 20s or people in their teens are doing more than you, ultimately something's gotta give. So these people, the ones that are quote unquote successful, although successful should equate to being healthy and having nice relationships, that to me is success. They might go through the thing that I went through. I could have been YouTubing my private jet experiences. I could have been YouTubing my celebrity stylist experiences. I could have been YouTubing the guys getting me the flowers, the stuff that you see online. And I didn't. And I'm here to say that there is more to life than these things and that we all, that life is cyclical. So those people who are filming all of that stuff right now, it doesn't mean that when they turn 30, or 35 or whatever that they're not gonna they're either gonna have a shift in perspective or they're gonna live that life forever and ultimately my personal belief is that is a, a lot of focus a long period of focus on materialism and external things it's all good and well that people in their 20s are going oh my man buys me all these things and you shouldn't settle for less and i'm not saying that you should settle for less but i'm thinking it's just so funny when people who are still quite young don't realize the levels of how cyclical life is and how things can change with every season, every year, every five years, going from your 20s to your 30s, going from your 30s to your 40s. Things change unexpectedly and it's just so funny how 
for views, people are so quick to be so abrupt and brash with their opinions when they haven't even reached, you know, their 30s and whatever. They were only teenagers not so long ago. So just remember that all that glitters is not gold. Everything that you see online, whether it's fake or not, doesn't mean that that is what you should have. It doesn't mean that's what is meant for you and it doesn't mean that that's what's best for you. So it's a case of just really channeling into what you are and who you are and what's best for you and if you really do want all these really unusual world experiences, no matter what age you are, what point you are in your life, where you live, you can throw yourself into stuff, you can experiment, you can be nine year old Hibber busking on the street corner, like do it. F shit up, like just do it. And I'm gonna delve into more videos on talking about my entrepreneurship, how you guys can start your own side businesses. I wanna talk more about manifestation and why I find it really pretentious when people are going through such difficult things in life. It's so good and well to tell people to like manifest. And I wanna talk more about the facade that people create online because I feel like in my mid thirties, I'm getting wiser and older and I have so much wisdom to share and I feel like I wanna just help people realize that there are more relatable people out there and that all that glitters is not gold, as I said like five times in this video. Anyway guys, I hope this video made sense and I can't wait to see you at my next video. Leave any questions in the comments and please subscribe and follow and follow my Instagram and send you love, light and good vibes as always.